Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I was just moseying around here on New Year's Day, checking out the uh, potted avocado trees after a really cold night. They're doing really well. This is a Jan Boyce here, but I started to notice, if you look real close right here, this Jan Boyce is starting to flower. About a week, I would say, that's been flowering. There's another one right next to it. Looks like it's coming in. This one hasn't set any fruit. Sorry for the airplane noise again. But this thing is pushing off a lot of new growth. I pulled it out of the uh, frost and noticed the uh, flowering right there. Squirrel Chaser 2000 for the new year. But I just wanted to hit you up real quick, show you that. A little early for the Jan Boyce to be uh, flowering, I think. But that's the only one on this tree, as I can see. We had had a uh, warm winter here until... I'm just looking at this. Until uh, this rains we just had, about three, four inches of rain. Here are some Jan Boyce that I grafted. And one reed that, I, or not reed, but one uh, gem that I grafted also. A couple of these are on reed seedlings, and a couple are on Hass seedlings. And this here is my Jan Boyce on a reed that we pulled out of the we pulled out of the frost last night. This thing's doing really good on a reed seed. Reeds seem to hang on pretty good in the temperatures we have out here in Lake Elsinore. You wouldn't think so, but they have. They grow really well during the summer and survive the winter, so I graft onto them. Don't know if that's right or wrong. If we're doing a little mini tour, there is a gem. The gem is still pushing. This is a... Another gem right here, very two different looking. This one here is a reed that is screaming to be transplanted. Another seedling, I keep this out, let it see what it can do through the summer, through the winter, keep it in that same spot. It's ready to be up potted. This one here is the other Jan Boyce. In a container, pretty big tree. Doing really well. Lots of new growth coming out. No flowers on this Jan Boyce, though, that I've seen yet. This one here is another one of my older seedlings. This one I'm just going to let grow out because it handles the summers and winters here really well. Charwell. Carmen. Our wind damaged surprise. Some nice fruit on it. Surprise, these are a little smaller, but they turn that brown color before they are ready to be picked. And these will be ready to be picked next month. I think the last one I picked last year off this tree was in like March 1st. Lamb Hass, my Hass that's been battered and beaten, and plenty of citrus and orange trees that we have. Just wanted to do a quick little walk around. When I saw that flower, I thought I'd do a quick update. Please like, share, subscribe if you like the videos. Try and put out some more content as we get it. Check our Amazon affiliate store out. That's some of the stuff that we sell here at the at the channel some of the stuff we use amazon gets us a little tiny piece a little commission thank you for that and the elsinoregardener.com for shirts and hats thanks again happy new year